In this video, I'm going to be building an offense completely from scratch and making it into one of the best offenses in Madden. What's good guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to the channel here. If you guys are looking to get better at Madden 23, make sure you check out my Patreon. That's where you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And in this video, I'm going to be talking today about, a, about how you go about building an effective offense. And we're going to be starting completely from scratch, a formation that I've never ran before, but I do think is kind of interesting. And that is in the Washington football team's playbook. I'm Obviously, there's probably better versions of this, different, of this formation, uh, but this is what I'm going to be doing out of the normal off close. This is something you can merge with an already ebook that we put out on the bunch, the bunch open, and the tight set. Uh, within this, we're going to be talking today, though, about normal YF close. How do you build an effective offense in Madden? I think it starts with a power play. A power play is a play that you must make go, a play that you will make go, a play that you commit to, a play that you will run again and again and again. That is what a power play is, and every single offense needs it. You need a bread and butter play. What is a high percentage play that you can create? Create. Now, what we want to do whenever we're building an offense, we want to first kind of look at some of the routes. We want to look at some of the, the default quick audibles, right, and start to kind of look at this and say, okay, what do we need uh, in our offense? And that can mean a lot of things. One of the things you have to have in any effective offense, you have to have some kind of corner route game, some way to attack the sidelines on both sides of the field, in my opinion. I think that is super important. Why sale is going to be going into the audibles because it's one of the most important plays in this formation. Take a look, we also need a good bomb play. So maybe an example of that could be the red zone scissors play, or it could be escape. Um, escape also does a couple of things for us. Um, escape has that um, that deep corner route to that left side and the post to the right side. So maybe we will base out of Y sail, and then we can come out in the play uh, Y sail, and then have escape at our audibles, wheel switches in our audibles, inside zone to have, have a quick run and mesh spot. The five key things we're looking to try to accomplish in our offense. The first one is a power play. We talked a little bit about that. The second one is a counter play. This is a play that looks very similar uh, to your power play, but goes in a completely different direction. The third is a constraint theory play. A constraint theory play can be a quick snap play, can be a, a, a verticals play, it can be a play that basically is designed to ensure and take advantage of any kind of overcompensation. I actually like to think of constraint theory plays as plays that ensure that I am living in a perfect world. So if my opponent is spamming man coverage, I want to have a good man coverage beater. If my opponent is spamming zone coverage, I want to have a good zone coverage beater to kind of constrain that zone concept. If they're always, you know, if, if they're um, always blitzing me, I need to have a good blitz beater. If they're playing match every play, I need to have a good match beater, right? These are plays that are going to kind of get them out of spamming defensives. Um, the third or the fourth thing is we need a three-headed rushing attack. This is simply the ability to run the ball to the right, to the middle, and to the left. And then the fifth thing that any offense needs is an effective red zone passing play. All right, so we're going to start today with the power play, and we're going to work through this over the course of the next couple of videos out of this playbook. And we are going to start out with the play Y sale. So if you just take a look at this play at face value, you got a couple of things going for you. you got this nice deep dig route on the left side. We have a natural kind of sail or flood uh, concept to the right side where we have this glitchy outside fade route to Cooper Cup. Uh, we also have this corner route to Dave Casper, which is really good. Um, so my big question with this is if I run cover four um, and I base a line and base line and and press it is this corner route going to be able to attack cover four we know it can probably attack cover two really well cover three. Oh, if you take a look at this though look at this if they baseline press cover four now we have a bomb against the cover four defense all right so that kind of takes care of that cover four really quickly now if they're backed off in cover four then you're going to see here they're going to run to that glitchy fade and we're going to be able to throw this tight end corner so this tight end corner is probably one of the best routes in Madden, um, especially if you have the ability short and elite. Short and elite is a great route running ability that's going to allow you to basically do really well against main coverage, which is what we're about to show you. Um, you know, Skimbo, one of the best players in the Madden community ever, talks about how in his offensive schemes, he likes to find man beaters and turn them into zone beaters. One of the best ways to find man beaters is to use short and elite this year. Abilities um, beat man, right? This is something that Zan Madden talks a lot about. Learned a lot from him over the years. Um, you know, abilities beat man, combos beat zone. As you can see here, this short and elite ability on Dave Casper is consistently lighting up if they do run man-to-man -man coverage. So this, a power play has to be able to beat man coverage, zone coverage, uh, match coverage and the blitz. It has to be able to beat all four coverages that you are going to see or all four kind of base defenses that your opponent is going to throw your way. So 
this kind of checks the man coverage box. Now let's go to cover three and just kind of do a little double check and just make sure, but I'm pretty sure this is going to beat cover three well because this glitchy fade route is one of the best clear out routes in all of Madden 23. And as you see here, I can just free form pass lead that down and outside. And as you can see, this can beat cover three. Now the big question is how is this going to do against cover two? Does that glitchy fade route on the left get me anything? Um, and just in terms of how we're going to be able to attack it. So what you're going to see here is this is cover two. I'm going to watch. You see that that deep half is going to do a good job. He turns around. He's going to play that route. We do know kind of some of our previous knowledge that these glitchy fade routes that Cooper Cup is on, sometimes they work better to the short side of the field. Um, and you always want to test your plays to the wide side and to the short side. So let's check and see, does this fade route do damage on the short side of the field? You're going to see right here, it actually seems to do pretty decent um, on the short side of the field. So again, that corner route paired with that deep, um, that deep glitchy fade, uh, we're seeing is very effective on either hash mark. It doesn't matter if it's to the short side or to the wide side. This is probably one of the best flood concepts uh, in the entire game. As you can see right there, the tight end getting over the top of a cloud flat. So we have a really, really good, uh, really, really, really good flood concept. The only adjust, the other thing that's cool about this play is we could pretty much snap it or maybe just make one hot route and snap the ball super fast. My favorite hot route for this is just to put this little pivot route right here. What this pivot route is going to do, it's going to pull the flat zones out of the middle of the field. It's going to allow us to have that right there as a check down in case the opponent wants to user the deep corner route on the left side of the field. Another thing that we can do or variation of this is we know that we have this left side C route. This is a really consistent read against man coverage. We'll be talking about that in a future video, but I could see a scenario where you're just using, you're really um, capitalizing on the fact that you have something like this. Now, we didn't talk about this against a man blitz yet. Let's take a look at it. Um, I think you should be able to beat a man blitz and a zone blitz, or at least have an idea of like, okay, I'm going to go here against man. I'm going to go here against zone. Um, and that's where this pivot route is really helpful. Uh, but what you'll see here is if it's a man pressure, I can just snap throw that running back route, get the ball out quick. Um, and, and just take what the defense gives me. Now, where this can be problematic is as they start to adjust to you, you know, maybe they do a defense that looks, you know, something like this, which I think is actually a pretty decent little, uh, little look here. This is where, okay, do I, you know, maybe I can put George Pickens on a, on a streak, you know, kind of tag a po or tag a fade. So now they send pressure, but short out elite bombs, press, press man. Right, so you've got to have kind of a plan uh, for attacking the pressure. To me, the biggest thing is hitting my running back quick to the flat. Um, you know, if they're playing all out man blitz, then I've got something like that. Now, what if they're playing zone? Uh, so, what if they're doing something like like this? Right, where is the hole in this zone defense? This is why I love this little pivot route because if I look to the left, to the to the left, I can throw that right in there, little quick pocket against the blitz so now i've got something that beats the man and zone blitz to the left and to the right i've got a great play that attacks all uh pretty much every zone in the game we're going to be able to attack it with this and that corner out also consistently beats main coverage if i put the short and elite ability on it so these are some of the things that makes this into a really really good power play I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to get more Madden strategy, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member. Gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, where we have given you some of the best schemes in the Madden community. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.